Okay guys, we are back with another move of the week. This week we're gonna work a side control escape. Um, I always feel side control escapes are one of the most important things in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. If you're brand new and just starting Jiu Jitsu, you're gonna be put in bad position side control all the time, so you need to learn to start escaping. If you're a higher level person, black belt, brown belt, someone's good enough to put me in a side control, it's gonna be very hard to escape, so I better have real good confidence in my escapes. So we're gonna go over an escape I like to call the V to X escape. You're gonna use the structure of the letter V with your arms and leg to hold an opponent's off until your legs can cross, creating an X to push his hip away. Um, this is a really basic escape, but it's one that I've been using for years and years and kind of modifying and refining and have been using successfully. So let's go over it. So Mike's gonna have me in a nice tight side control position, okay? Now when Mike gets me in side control, the key first for me is to defend. So if my arms get isolated away from my body, the chance of me escaping go way down and there's a good chance Mike's gonna arm lock me or mount me or take my back. So the first thing I think about when I get to the bottom of the side control is I have to get my arms in. The arm that he's, or that side that he's next to, my right side, I wanna wedge my elbow in and I wanna kinda of check his hip with my hand, okay? I'm not pushing his hip where you can put pressure on it, but I just wanna check it. I wanna make sure that armpit is tucked in, I wanna make sure that triceps on my ribcage. On my secondary arm, the one that's away from the body, away from his hip, I can be controlling his shoulder here, I can come inside with the frame here. Obviously, if I can underhook, that would be great, but it's gonna be hard, especially in the gi, because Mike's gonna be tight. So I generally like to just create a little space and wedge my hand in front and just cup the shoulder. So I'm cupping this hip here, cupping the shoulder here, but I'm gonna make sure this elbow stays tight to my body. Now that I have my arms in, I like to create just a small little walk away to create a gap between me and Mike. And not that he's gonna let me keep that gap, but he's gonna have to move his hip. And as he moves his hip to follow me here, that's why I wanna bridge. As I bridge, I get a nice bridge towards Mike. I'm gonna keep both arms attached. And then as I'm here, I'm gonna fall to my hip. I'm gonna go to my right hip and my right knee and chair are gonna wedge in, bringing a nice connection. And this is gonna be the letter V. So if Mike just backs his body up slightly off me, I have that V. Where my elbow and knee are coming together, my hand and my foot are coming out. As he puts himself back on top of me, he can drop all the weight he wants it to be. I can hold him off very well between my frames. I'm not gonna be able to pick up my far leg and I'm gonna bring it underneath my right foot and I'm gonna create an X on his thigh. And I'm gonna push away with both my arms, both the legs, and I'm gonna get up to a seated position. Now I can put open guard, seated guard, closed guard, anything I want, I'm in a great spot, okay? So we'll do the same escape from a different angle so you guys can see how we're moving slightly. So again, Mike has me down. Again, my arms are away from the body. This is gonna be bad. So first thing I wanna do is I'm gonna wedge my inside elbow in and I'm gonna check his hip. I'm then gonna bring this elbow into my body and if I can, come in front of the head. For some reason you can't, I can always cup his shoulder here, okay? I'll do the escape with the arm here. In either case, once I'm here, I'm gonna create a little hip angle to walk my hips away. As he walks into me to follow me, I'm gonna bridge, pushing him away. I'm gonna drop, my knee and elbow are gonna come together, and my hand and foot are gonna be outside the hip. That's gonna allow this leg, the free leg, to come in. And even if Mike is trying to smash me and pull that way out of me, I can pick this leg up, because this V structure is gonna hold him off. That allows my leg to come in, and I have the X in the leg, and I'm gonna push away with both legs, both arms, and now we're up into that seated position, holding him so I can escape, okay? We'll do it one more, I can jump on this side, so we can see it from one more angle. So again, he's got me in good tight side control, heavy pressure. Wedge the near side elbow in first, wedge the far side elbow in second. If I can get in front of the face, great. If I can, I can cup the shoulder. Again, I'm gonna walk my hips away. As he comes in to move me, I'm gonna push. I'm gonna drop my knee in. And again, from here, you're safe. I'm pushing off this foot. As he starts to put that weight on me, I can take this foot off, and even if he puts a ton of weight, I can hold him away. My leg comes inside, and I'm gonna push. I create a seated escape, getting back to my guard. And again, once you get good at getting that V structure in and that X in the leg, it's very, very hard for him to keep me flat. It's very, very hard for him to try to jump around me. And I've created enough space between our hips that I can get to any type of open guard or try to get back to my feet if it's more of a self-defense situation. So I hope you like the escape. Give it a try. Remember to like, subscribe, and share. Thank you, guys.